Hey guys, it's me, Naughty Gamer, and today I'm going to do the first of what I hope could be many of a book review. Now, I'm a massive reader. I can read anything. Comics, novels, anything really you throw at us. But, and two of my favourite fictional characters ever is Sherlock Holmes and Cthulhu. I know, they're from different genres and different ideas. But imagine my joy when they were put together. Now, this, I've just finished this, Sherlock Holmes vs. Cthulhu. But first of all, I want, let's talk about a brief about the history of each character. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, as most people know, is one of the famous detectives created by Arthur Conan Doyle in the 1800s. Lives in 221B Baker Street with John Watson, although John Watson got married, in to a woman called Mary later on, and moved out. But they um they've always worked together and they've always had each other's backs. They are without doubt the two most famous detectives, detective and assistant in any kind of genre, any work of fiction, and. Sherlock Holmes has been portrayed numerous times. He's been on telly, he's been on films, played by Robert Down Jr. He's appeared in games, and he's appeared in audio books, and there are still authors nowadays writing, continuing his tr story years after Arthur Conan Doyle had died. And that, show and that shows me that this is a character that people want to see continue, and the Authors have so far done a tremendous job. But for now, let's talk about Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Cthulhu is a mystical beast created by H.P. Lovecraft in 1928 and only actually appeared in one book called The Call of Cthulhu. Now, this book was basically Cthulhu has become the most famous monster in all of Lovecraft's stories that he's actually the mythos is now called the Cthulhu mythos he's an alien he's there's so much he's appeared in films video games televisions more more authors have continued so there's two there's so you so the get continuing on and a truth to Cthulhu is one of my favorite ever mystical creatures created in literature to ideas he, because Lovecraft created him out of his fear of the deep dark water and truth be told I think anyone is afraid of the deep dark water because you don't know what's fully down there and I tell you, Cthulhu has just been grown strong, the same as Sherlock Holmes. And to see these put two together, it makes it brilliant. Now, popular belief, this is not the first time that these two have been put in the same story. There was an actual Sherlock Holmes game in 2003 for PC called Sherlock Holmes The Awakening, which dealt with a cult wanting to resurrect Cthulhu. And it... It doesn't really. It ended with them stopping the cold, and there was no real to This book, when I first heard about this book, I was a bit sceptical, thinking, is it just going to be a copy of the game or what? I'm glad to say, no, it's not. It does have some of the ideas, but it really expands on them. And this is the first of a trilogy, which the second one is due out in October 2018. But, so this book, I'm going to spoil something now for you. Cthulhu does not appear in this book. This book basically sets up the idea for Sherlock Holmes to believe that the supernatural is possible. Which got me weird because there's been over oh, loads of Sherlock Holmes stories. And, I'm, and I've never thought that, he, and I've always thought that supernatural would be into it, but clearly not. This book is to set up the idea that there is something 
there is a supernatural presence here that Sherlock cannot understand. It um because as as he goes on, he he keeps getting told this, but he is burying his head in his hands, saying, "No, it's not possible. It's not this." Until he has to admit that could it be real? Could there really be this? But guys, I'm gonna say I love this book so much, and I'm so excited for the rest of the trilogy. I must say, when you get when you get two um, characters who you did not create put together in the book, it's gonna be separate skeptical from each um from different readers i'm glad to say these two work together well it's perfect it's a brilliant book and i highly recommend you read it thank you for joining me and um, if you like this video please like the video subscribe to the channel and comment on what other books you would like to see me review all right and i'll see you next time bye